love. Blessed love, this is MV Corner with the boss himself, Mr. Wholeness. Now, Mr. Wholeness, um, there have been a lot of um, talk, especially on MV Corner and on the internet, yes. about the selling off of our national treasures, especially Goat Island. If you become Prime Minister, will you be there doing anything to stop the sale of, for example, Goat Island? Yeah, I think we have to preserve our national treasures and our national assets. But because there are treasures and assets and there is this great need for economic growth, we have to find a way how to preserve them, keep the nature, keep what makes them special, but at the same time, earn from them. So I believe that the present government is far advanced. Um, we do not know what is the contractual state that exists. It may very well be that they have signed a lease already and we don't know. Uh, when we go in Oiba, we will make sure that we take close examination of any environmental impact that could happen with uh, the implementation of uh, a transshipment port there. And if there isn't any major significant uh, environmental impact, then we would go ahead. However, if we find that it would totally destroy the ecosystem of the area, then obviously we would stop. But I, I want to make the general point that Jamaica has many uh, valuable assets, which by virtue of not using them, they are being destroyed. One of them, for example, is Port Royal, an amazing place. We're not doing anything with it, and it is slowly just vanishing away. Um, the, the buildings and structures there are neglected, and uh, many of them are just being destroyed and vandalized. So an actual way to preserve that would be to use that and in a way make some um, you know, contribution to economic growth. So I think we, we have to be very comprehensive in what we do in protecting the national assets, but getting the benefit for our economic growth at the same time. Also, um, my friend Douglas Shaw, I see he posted a, a comment, a, a question, as a matter of fact, on your page. Yes. I don't think you, you saw it. Um, he's asking if you would be thinking about um, implementing electronic bracelet for people coming out on parole yes. or people that are charged with major crimes so we could not, monitor not, criminals. Not, not, not major crimes. Um, major crimes would still have a custodial um, component. But certainly, um, you know, people who have um, are on parole, people who need to be supervised or can be supervised while outside, we will use electronic uh, bracelet and monitoring as part of our manifesto. I have a boss. Good luck on Thursday. Big up yourself. Big up social media.